Romans 12 verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God the word of God to the people of God and I say a pleasant good morning to you your families and those who join you in devotion as you share and like these devotions I want to tell you I do appreciate your feedback, your encouragement, but more importantly, your prayers. God bless you. According to Romans 12 verse 2, we have a lot of work to do to be transformed, to be renewed in our minds, to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But we need not to fear because God is our helper and we cannot complete this without his help. Our meditation this morning comes from Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 and NIV read it this way, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. The word of God to the people of God. I attended a virtual Bible study the other evening and I was reminded that the New Testament was written to Christians and all through the New Testament we find where Christians are challenged, challenged with the flesh challenged with lust, with lying, stealing and all the lights. And the Bible was written for us to be helped. And if we don't check the flesh with the Word of God, we will die spiritually. Even though we may still be members of a church serving and doing all the things that are spiritual, quote unquote, if we do not crucify the flesh, with the word of God, through prayer and fasting, the flesh will kill us, steal and destroy us slowly. So in this season of prayer and fasting and meditating on the word, our spirit man will be nurtured. He will be strengthened and preserved in the things of God. I think that's a better benefit but it requires us to be living sacrifice. It requires us to give ourselves to God, seek his forgiveness. More importantly, seek to connect with him and be one with him. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for reminding us whose we are. Thank you, God, for the work that we must do but we don't need to do it by ourselves. Because of ourselves, we will fail. But you have sent your Holy Spirit, the paraclete, our helper, to give us direction and help. Help us to submit to the Spirit of God today, to the Word of God today, so that we may not be conformed to this world, but that we may transform by the renewing of our mind, that we may crucify the flesh. Nevertheless, we live. Yet not us, but Christ live in us. So I thank you and praise you that this is possible through the blood of God. And so we pray for those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament. Touch them, please, oh God. Those who influence decisions, laws, and all the likes, touch them, mind, the spirit. We pray for the medical professionals. We pray for law enforcement. We pray for the service industry. We give you thanks for those who mind the gates. We pray your Holy Spirit upon them even now. In the name of Jesus, we pray strengthen the intercessors this morning. Those in the body of Christ, those missionaries, evangelists, strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Help us to endure and to press in this season of prayer, fasting, and meditating on your word. And we give you praise 
for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. It is to you that we look. It is to you, in you we live and move and have our very being. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you live today. Let's crucify the flesh. Let's say no to the things of the flesh and yes to the things of God. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord.